hey guys, you must have realised by now that in organic chemistry, drawing out those C's, all those H's, and all those lines gets quite tedious. So here is a way that we don't have to draw everything out. Um, we just don't draw them. Now, Scalita formula can seem a little bit confusing at the beginning, but once you get your head around it, it's absolutely fine. It's a lot, lot easier. So I'm going to work you through a few examples that I'm going to give you a few for you to try yourself. If you want a hard copy of the ones for you to try yourself over my website, you can download all of them from there um, and you can do it as we're going along. Good luck, guys. This is going to make your lives a lot easier. Before you start to understand Scalita formula, it's really important you understand how to draw alkanes and alkenes and to name them as well. Just to really, really quickly recap here, we have um, one, two carbons, so that is going to be eth, and it's all single bonds, so that is going to be ane, ethane. Here we have one, two, three, four carbons in a row, so that's going to give us the prefix but and single bonds is going to be ane, ethane and butane. Now naming those from the drawings like this is relatively easy. We need to start thinking about skeletal formulas now. And skeletal formulas are slightly different. What we do is we don't draw any carbons or hydrogens. Whenever we have a carbon, all we do is just put a really big dot in place. So for ethane, we have two dots, and then we just join these dots up. For butane, we have one, two, three, four dots, and again, we just join these dots up. Now, you'll notice I've done it in um, an up and down confirmation here. That's just the standard way of showing that at each point we have a carbon, a carbon, carbon, a carbon, a carbon, and a carbon. So in this example here, each point is a carbon, 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 carbon. And if I wanted to draw that out fully, you would just simply take each point, carbon, 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 carbon. We know that um, there are no double bonds because double bonds are represented differently, so these are all single bonds. And then, because this is a hydrocarbon, we just fill it in the rest. Just squeeze extra hydrogen in there. So, you can see how the first one, the skeletal formula, is much easier to draw than the second one. If we have methyl or ethyl chains, they're represented in exactly the same way. Carbon, 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 carbon. If we then try and draw that out, and I actually don't recommend drawing them out all the time. I'm just doing this so you can understand um, what they're supposed to look like. We have carbon, 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 four carbons in a row. And then above carbon number two, we have another carbon up here. Another carbon up here, fill the rest in with hydrogens. And then we have four carbons in a row. One, two, three, four. We have a methyl group coming off carbon number two. So this is two methyl butane when we have um, a functional group which isn't um, a hydrocarbon group things are ever so slightly different so at each point we still have carbon so carbon 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 but this bond here isn't leading to a carbon on the end here because we've got this chlorine group on the end here people always get confused by this so what we have is carbon 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 chlorine coming off carbon number two here then we can fill in the rest with hydrogens 
which will give us two chlorobutane. Name this. A nice simple one starts off with, it may look quite confusing, but what you need to remember is that each point is a carbon, and that carbon is surrounded by hydrogens. So this, two carbons, single bonds, ethane. Name this. Here we have one carbon, two carbons, three carbons, all single bonds, so this is propane. Name this. Here we have one, two, three, four, five carbons in a row, so this is simply pentane. Name this. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, five of them in a straight line, so you can say it is pentane. If we number this one, two, this here is a methyl group, so that is two methyl pentane. Name this. Here we have carbon one, carbon two, carbon three, carbon four, carbon five. Methyl group, methyl group, so that is a two methyl and a four methyl. So the full name is two comma four dash di methyl pentane. Name this. Now here we have carbons, 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 and a bromo group on here, so no carbon on there. If I just number these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this is a two methyl group. This is a four bromo group. So what we have is four bromo dash two dash methyl heptane. Name this one. Carbon, 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 carbon. Here we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two methyl. This is a four ethyl. So this is 4 ethyl 2 methyl heptane. Name this. Lots of carbons here. Carbon, 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 carbon. Carbon, carbon, carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two methyl. Four methyl. Six methyl.
Creamy file. Five me file. Seven me file. So that is two. I'll just cross these off once I'm done. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Hexa methyl octane. Name this one. Here we have carbon, 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 carbon. If we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, then we have a two bromo, a four bromo, a six bromo, a three chloro, a five chloro, and a seven. So if we pop in those in alphabetical order, that gives us two, four, six, tri, bromo, three, five, seven, trichloro. Name this one. Here we have carbon, 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 carbon. This is our functional group, our double bond in here. If I just number those. And that is on carbon 2. So this is pent 2 ene. Name this one. Here we have carbon, 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 carbon. And if we want to have our functional groups with the lowest numbers possible, we need to start numbering from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is functional group on one, and that is functional group on four. So this is hex, one, four. Oops, that should be a dash. Dying. Name this one. Here we have carbon, 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 carbon. We have one, two, three, four, five. We've got a double bond on the one, we've got a double bond on the four, we've got a one chloro, and we have a three. Chloro, which will make it one comma three dash di chloro pent dash one four dash dying. Name this one. Lots more carbons. One, two, three, four, five. Six and methyl group and methyl group numbering one, two, three, four, five, six. That gives us a four methyl, a three methyl, double bond on one, double bond on four, which gives us three, four, die. Methyl hex dash one for dying. Name this one carbon, 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 carbon. 
Um, numbering so that we have the lowest um, numbers possible gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a function of group 1, 2 there, a function of group 1, 5. Then we have a 4 methyl a 3 methyl. So that gives us 3, 4 dimethyl hept 2, 5 diene. Name this one. Here we have carbon, 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 and a bromide group. Numbering them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It gives us functional group on the two. Functional group on the five makes a three bromo and a four ether, giving us three bromo four ethyl hept two five diene. Name this one. So here we have carbon, 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 carbon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That gives us a two and a five. For our um, double bonds, we have a 1 chloro, a 3 bromo, a 5 methyl, a 4 ethyl, and a 2 methyl. So, probably along with all in alphabetical order, we have 3. Bromo, one chloro. Let me just cross these off. Four ethyl, two five five di methyl hept. Two, five, squashing it on, dying. Name this one. Here we have carbon, 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 carbon. Numbering this so we have the lowest numbers possible. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven double bond on two, double bond on five, three, bromo, four ethyl, and then this one chloro added on the end here, which will give us three bromo one. Chloro, four, ether, hept, two, five, oops, squeeze down the corner, diene. Name this one. Carbon, 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 carbon. Our longest chain is um, going to be squiggling around the corner, and it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It means we have a fair double bond on 1, 
Oh, and on three we have a four. Ethyl group, we have a six. Bromo group, we have a five. Chloro group, which will give us six. Bromo, five. Chloro, four. Ethyl, hept, one, three, diene. Name this little guy. Here we have carbon, 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 carbon. Our lowest numbers possible are going to be one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, giving us a two. Methyl, a three methyl, a three methyl, and a four ethyl. So we had two, three. Three. Try. No, that's not first. Wasn't even in the alphabetical order. It is four ethyl. Two, three, three. Try methyl heptane. Name this one. So we have carbon, 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 carbon. Our longest chain will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That gives us a double bond on two. That gives us a three ethyl, a five chloro, a double bond on five. That gives us a four ethyl. It gives us an eight methyl, and then it gives us a ten ethyl as well. I think I've got everything. So starting in alphabetical order we are going to go 5 chloro, uh, 3, 4, 10, tri, ethyl, 8, methyl, what are we on? Do, deck, two, oh, squeeze, five, diene. 